In this video, we're going to consider not just regular consecutive integers, but consecutive even integers and consecutive odd integers. Consecutive even integers would be the same idea as a consecutive integer, but now they're even. So we'd have 8, 10, 12, for example. And what you might notice now is the space between the even numbers is no longer 1, but the space is plus 2. To go from 8 to the 12, the space is then plus 4, and you can see the space then after that would be plus 6, plus 8, plus 10. And so we'll follow much the same pattern with the first number unknown in x. The second number would be x plus 2 for those even numbers, because the space between even numbers is 2 units. The third number is 4 down the line, so it's going to be x plus 4, then x plus 6, x plus 8, depending on how many even integers we're working with. What's interesting is when we compare this to consecutive odd integers. Odd integers would be like 7, 9, 11, those are odd numbers. But look at the space, be careful here, the space between 7 and 9. The space is still 2. 7 plus 2 is 9. And then from 7 to 11, the space there is 7 plus 4. That's the same space we were doing with even integers. And so actually the first number we'll still use as x, we don't know. The second integer, the odd number, is going to be x plus, what was the space? The space was 2. And the third is x plus 4, because the space between them is 4, and then x plus 6, x plus 8. I want to be careful here, when we say consecutive odd, we're talking about the numbers themselves. 7, 9, and 11 are odd. When we set up our equation with the plus 2, the plus 4, we're talking about the space between them. A common error students will say plus 1, plus 3, because they're trying to add odd numbers. When we say consecutive odd, we're talking about the answer. When we say x plus 2, we're talking about the space. So when we're asked in this first example to find three consecutive even integers, whose sum is 84, and there's three of them, we don't know what the first is, so we'll say the second is x plus, the space between even numbers is 2, and the third is x plus 4. And if we add them all up, the total should be 84. Hmm. So when we add this up in combined like terms, we have 3x's plus, 2 plus 4 is 6. I'm running out of space, so I'm going to scroll a little bit to buy me some more space. Subtract 6 from both sides, we get 3x equals 78. And then finally divide both sides by 3 to find out x is equal to... 78 divided by 3 is 26. But again, that's not our final solution, because we're asked, what are the three integers? Well, the first integer is just x, just the 26, so that's easy. The second integer takes the 26 and adds 2. That gives us 28. The third says 26 plus 4, and that gives us 30. And notice we have three even integers whose sum is 84. Let's try another example. Let's find four consecutive odd integers whose sum is 152. There's four of them, and they are odd integers. So the first one we're going to call x. The second one is x plus 2. The space between the odd integers is 2. The third is x plus 4, and it wants four of them this time, so the fourth is x plus 6. And if we add them all up, we're told the sum, it should equal 152. Well, we've got 4x's added up, plus, adding the like terms, we've got 12. 4x plus 12 equals 152, 
and we can quickly solve by subtracting 12, giving us 4x equals 140. Divide by 4, and x is equal to 35. And notice the answer is odd. The space is 2, 4, 6, because that's the space, but the answer we got of 35 is odd. That's what we were looking for. Of course, that's not our final answer. We still have to go in and say the first number is 35. The second number is 35 plus 2, which is 37. The third is 35 plus 4, which is 39. And the fourth is 35 plus 6, which is 41. These are our four consecutive odd integers who add up to 152.